Cruz Line. So after some freezing temperatures and a lot of snow, it's finally starting to warm up. It's the middle of February, heading towards the end. And today I'm going to get my onions and garlic straight into the bed. I had thought about potentially starting them up in the polytunnel. I think I may have mentioned previously, I usually get my onions and garlic sets into the ground in the autumn. But because I didn't think the tears would be spent, I just last season. So I'm starting them in the spring. So I've deliberately chosen varieties that I can start in the spring. So my garlic is a variety called Picardy White and it's a, a variety that is good to start in the spring and I've got 30 cloves. Now my onions, I would normally go for specific varieties but I had a bit of trouble getting hold of them so what I've actually gone for is just a mixed variety. So it's just a bag of mixed um, white, yellow and red onions um, and I don't actually know which varieties they are but I wanted to get some in. I will also be sowing some onion seeds but I wanted to get my sets in. So this ground is really nicely prepared and if you've watched my previous videos you'll see that I have rested this bed, I have mulched it over with cardboard, so covered it completely with a layer of cardboard. It then had a layer of used chicken bedding, and then on top of that, I put a layer of leaf mulch and then the compost. So the uh, cardboard will have started to decompose already, but I will be using, I've got a dibber and I've got a trowel so that I can just make sure that they are firmly into the soil. And I will use a plumb line just to give me a rough line for planting.
really enjoyed spending some time outside and I don't know if you can hear, they've stopped now, there are buzzards just over on the other side of the lane. They're just swooping around and shouting at the tops of their voices. You might be able to hear that, but it's just wonderful to be outside with the sunshine and the wildlife. And most of all, I've got my garlic and my onions in. So the process you could probably see, it's pretty straightforward. Because I've got that layer of cardboard at the bottom and it's not entirely um, broken down yet, that's one of the reasons I wanted to use that dibber to punch through that cardboard just to make sure that when those roots start to come that they're not having to fight through the cardboard that it's a much easier journey down into the soil for them. Making sure I've got the growing tip at the top and the basal plate at the bottom gently down into the hole and then covered it over and just gave it a little firm. The other reason I like to use a dibber or to do a trench is that when I put them in I'm not forcing them down through the soil and damaging that growing plate at the bottom so they've got a much better chance. Now the garlic was really good quality and I've got high hopes for that. I have to say the onion sets were not the best quality and actually it was a little bit difficult to determine what some of the varieties actually were so as I say there should have been a selection of white, red and yellow. There was an awful lot of red there were then more yellow and I think there were four or five of the of the white ones so I've popped them in anyway I've labeled them up just so I know if I come to sow or plant anything else I've got a rough idea where they are so I can leave those areas alone and obviously I'm watching out for germination so that's the onion and the garlic in so I'm absolutely made up to be outside as I say and to have actually got something going thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you want to share with me the journey going forward with growing through the 2021 season, please do consider subscribing and hit that bell to get notifications of my latest videos. I do have a lot of gardening videos, but if you look at my channel, you will also see there are some other categories and I do group everything into playlists. So if you're just looking for the growing and the gardening, hop onto my playlist section and then you're not going to be having to sift through the things that perhaps you're not so interested in. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all again soon.